guys, Cindy here from Pleasant Sims. Welcome to episode 5 of my Strange Town Let's Play. Today we're going to be playing the Grunt family, and they live here at 51 Road to Nowhere. This is General Buzz Grunt and his three sons, Tank, Rip, and Buck. Their bio says, Tank has always lived under the hard thumb of his father, General Buzz Grunt. In this domesticated boot camp, can Tank prove his worth to his demanding dad? Let's load the lot and find out. As soon as we load the lot, we find the Grunt family uh, standing around here in various places. This is little Buck Grunt over here. Um, he is the youngest child. This is Bu General Buzz Grunt. He is the patriarch of this family. And then we have the oldest son here, Tank and the middle son, Rip. And we've already seen um, the grunts in our previous episode whenever we played the Smith family, and they came over to crash the party. Um, everybody except for Rip, he was invited. But before we play the scripted events, I want to talk a little bit about the backstory of this family, and then we'll take a look at their personalities and also do a tour of their house. They have a very nice house as well. It's one of the larger houses here, here in Strangetown. So first of all, Buzz's ex-wife and the boy's mother, Lila, divorced Buzz, most likely because of his controlling, domineering ways, and she was later electrocuted on all of Spectre's property, and we saw her grave over there um, in the Spectre episode. So no one really knows what happened to Lila that night, and there are some rumors that she was murdered by Olive for snooping around, and maybe she saw something she shouldn't have, but regardless, she's gone, and Buzz is now raising the boys alone. Both Buzz and his older son, Tank, have a grudge against the Curious family for being so involved with aliens and with the Smith family because they are aliens. You see, Buzz has a prejudice against aliens, probably learned from his own father and grandfather, and he has passed it on to his son. He hates anyone different from him, and the fact that pollination technician number nine, who I affectionately call Paul, lives a normal life right next to him is just more than Buzz can even handle. And although the other citizens in Strangetown don't know this, Buzz was part of a secret government project where experiments were carried out on aliens that they found at a nearby crash site. So now he has to treat them as subhuman in order to live with what he's done. He, The way he sees it, if their lives aren't as valuable of the as those of normal sims, then he doesn't have to feel guilty for torturing them in his cruel government experiments. And Buzz still has a little bit of PTSD from whatever went on in those dark bunkers while he was still a commander. He was just following orders. That's what he tells himself to sleep at night. Now all Buzz wants is for the aliens to leave Strangetown forever, and he's prepared to make all of their lives hell until they do. In the previous episode, he crashed Johnny Smith's birthday party to attack poor Paul for absolutely no reason. Buzz is aggressive with his kids and with the other residents of the neighborhood. He has a feud with all of Spectre, and he's already been in one fight with her in the Spectre episode. And he's also in a feud with the Curious Brothers, and of course, the Smith family. And he recently lost a fight to Paul, which just eats away at him every single day. He can't stand the fact that he lost a fight, especially to an alien. And another of Buzz's character traits is the military approach that he takes towards raising his sons. He's very hard on the boys, and only his oldest son, Tank, is really anything like him. He's encouraged Tank's aggressive behavior and praises him for being a real man. And Tank wants to follow in his father's footsteps and tries really hard to impress him. And as you can see here uh, by this pop-up, he is going to be joining the military career um, to try and be more like his father. The middle son, Rip, is a lazy romantic, which earns his father's disdain. <laughs> Although he does have a job as a gas station attendant, Buzz doesn't acknowledge that at all. He doesn't think any job outside the military is worth having, and he thinks that Rip's little crummy job at the gas station just isn't even worth anything. And then we have, finally, we have little Buck, and he's just a smart, very nice, and studious kid. He enjoys reading and ha also has no interest in the military. He's pretty much been ignored by his father and older brothers up until this point. And you can see here that he's a little bit chubby, a little bit overweight. He's just kind of left his own devices. He eats a lot of cookies after school. <laughs> So that's kind of the backstory of the Grunt family and where they stand right now. Let's talk about their individual personalities. And we'll start here, of course, with General Buzz himself. 
We can see here that he is a popularity sim. And if we look at his relationships, he doesn't like his middle son, Rip, as I talked about before. He thinks he's lazy and doesn't respect him because he doesn't want to go into the military career. And he's almost friends with Tank, but not quite. Tank has not really earned his full respect yet. And he's kind of just ambivalent towards little Buck. He does not like Pollination Technician number nine, obviously. And he also doesn't like Loki Beaker. Or the Curious Brothers, for that matter. He is level 10 in the military career. He works as a general. He has maximum body skill. Fitness is very important to Buzz. He is a Leo. He's a very outgoing, extroverted type of sim. He's extremely active, extremely fit, very outgoing and neat. He runs a tight ship. He's very serious. He has no time for playing around or joking. Everything is just so in his household. And he is also not very nice at all. His bio says, The general likes to have his clock set to military time. He used to enjoy barbershop quartet singing, but that is classified information. <laughs> and we can see that his interests are politics, money, environment, crime, sci-fi, strangely enough, and sports. We don't know what his one true hobby is yet, and he has many memories of losing a fight with pollination technician number nine, of his uh, children being born and getting promoted uh, throughout the military career, and then, of course, breaking up with his wife. Rip grew up badly after the divorce. And he got more promotions, reached the top of the military career, made enemies with Olive, and won a fight with Olive. He did kick her butt. It's true. He's turned on by fatness and accessories. Now, isn't that something Mr. General Buzz Grunt, Mr. General? You know what I'm saying. General Buzz Grunt, the most important thing to him is fitness and discipline. He likes fat women. <laughs> Wow. Wow. And I also just real quick want to show you the family tree. So here is General Buzz Grunt. His parents were General Chip Grunt, or his father was General Chip Grunt, and his grandfather was General Rock Grunt. They were all generals. He followed in their footsteps, and I think the whole alien racism was probably passed down from them to him. His mother was Missy Grunt, and her parents were Mary Mellon's and Mike Steele. And of course, the children are Tank, Rip, and Buck. All right, let's move on to Tank. Here is Tank wearing all that face paint to try and impress his dad. I can't see any other reason why he would be wearing that, because he's certainly not camouflaging himself out here in the desert. <laughs> so he is also a popularity sim. His relationships, he is friends with his dad, or he considers his dad a friend, but his dad does not consider him a friend. That's kind of sad. He also does not like his brother Rip, and he's also kind of just indifferent to Little Buck. And he is enemies with Johnny Smith. He really hates Johnny Smith. He's just taken after his dad and his dad's feud with Pollination Technician number nine, so he's going to just pick a fight with Johnny for absolutely no reason than just prejudice. He has an A- in school, which is pretty good, but not good enough for the general. He needs to get an A- to impress his father. He is a Capricorn. He is extremely active and extremely fit, just like his father. He actually has pretty much the same personality as his father. He's neat. Um, he's just not quite as outgoing as his dad. He's extremely serious, and he's a little bit nicer than his dad as well. His interests are politics, crime, money, sci-fi, and sports, the exact same as his dad. He's like a carbon copy of his father. We don't know what his one true hobby is yet. And he has a lot of memories here of bad aging up. Uh, Rip grew up badly. Rip grew up badly. Poor Rip. Rip is my favorite one out of the Grunt boys. His turn-ons are fitness and education. He likes a fit, disciplined, smart woman. 
And his bio says, Tank Grunt wants to be just like his old man. He spends his days lifting heavy things, dodging imaginary bullets, and being bigger than the other guy. But deep down inside, he wonders if anyone really knows who he is. Aw, that's kind of sad. All right, let's move on to Rip. As I said, my favorite, Grunt. And uh, he's the middle child. And as you can see, he is very different from Tank and and Buzz. He wants to go to college, actually. Rip is a romance sim, and he's friends with his little brother, Buck, unlike his older brother and father. He does not like Tank or Buzz. He wants to get out of this house as soon as he can. He's just about friends with Ophelia, and he is friends with Johnny Smith. He also has one bolt um, with this townie named Tina Ronegi. Ronegi? (laughs) I don't know how the heck to say that. Tina. He has one bolt with a townie named Tina. He is a C student in public school. He doesn't really care that much about school, but he's doing enough to get by. And he works level two in the slacker career as a gas station attendant part-time after school. He also does have a mechanical and a charisma skill. He is very, very sloppy, also unlike his brother and father. He's extremely outgoing. He's very lazy, he's very playful, and very nice. And he is also a Sagittarius. Jovial and carefree Sagittarians are blessed with boundless energy. Unfortunately, this combination can also make them restless and careless. He doesn't really have boundless energy, but he is outgoing. And he's just in the middle of fitness, and his bio says, Rip totally doesn't care what you think of him. He's going to do whatever he wants to do, which is mostly what everyone else is doing. (laughs) Sounds just like a normal teenager to me. And his interests are entertainment, culture, food, and toys. (laughs) We don't know what his hobby is yet. And he has the same memories of growing up badly, learning his toddler skills. Of course, their mother taught them most of their toddler skills. I think um, Buzz might have taught Tank one thing, and that was it. But he didn't have much hand in raising them when they were little. He did grow up badly, but then he got himself a job, and that made him feel a little bit better. And then he met Tina here. His turn-ons are blonde hair and creative. And his turn-off is education. (laughs) He wants a free-spirited woman who doesn't need a college degree, I guess. And finally, we have little Buck over here. So Buck has the grow-up aspiration, of course, as all children do, but he also has a hidden popularity token just like little Jill Smith, so we'll be making him a popularity sim. He doesn't have a very good relationship with his father. He's almost friends with him. Um, He is, of course, friends with Rip, and he's almost friends with Tank as well, and he has an acquaintanceship with Jill Smith. He is an A-plus student in school. He does very well in school. He is a Scorpio, and he is extremely neat, extremely nice, completely serious, lazy, and shy. (laughs) That is quite a personality, and he's a little bit overweight. Buck's bio says, more than anything else, Buck wants to be a pet stylist to the stars. (laughs) He spends a lot of time wondering why his father never seems to notice him. Aw, sad. And his interests include animals, school, culture, entertainment, and fashion. We don't know what his hobby is yet. And then he has the same memories of learning his toddler skills and then Rip growing up badly. Rip must have really grown up badly because everybody is concerned about that. (laughs) Their memories. Everybody remembers that age up. Before we get started playing the scripted events, I want to give a quick tour of the house. I'm going to put the walls up. I realize I didn't do that in the Smith episode, so we didn't even see what the outside of the house looked like, but I just want to show the outside here of the Grunt's house. It's a really cute little house. They have a nice patio outside, and then over here they have like this training. I forgot what this is called. Let me pick it up so I can tell you. The Exerto Self-Log Obstacle Course. So this is what Buck uses to train the boys on, especially Tank. And then we have this a little playground over here and then this weird tower thing up here that I guess they can go up and search the skies. I think Buzz secretly goes up there and keeps an, a lookout for aliens to make sure no more infiltrating his town. 
All right, and then if we go to the first floor here, we have all we have three bedrooms. We have two bathrooms and then we have like a home gym, a little exercise room over here. And downstairs we have another bedroom with computer, living room, bathroom, a large kitchen and a pretty large uh, dining room with two dining tables. So that is the Grunt household and now we're ready to start playing. They also have an aquarium, which is pretty cool. So our pop-up says, young Tank really wants his father's approval. Will finding a good job and working hard finally win Tank his father's respect? Use the computer to start the job search. So the very first thing we're going to do is take Tank over to the computer, which it was over here somewhere, and have him find a job. Here he comes. And it is Sunday right now. And let's just talk about the ages while we're waiting on him to come over here and find a job. So to start out with, Buzz is 45 years old, Tank is 16, Rip is 13, and Buck is 8. There is an opening in the military career track. Surprise, surprise! As a paintball attendant, level 1. Yes, we will have Tank take that job. Very good. And now he wants to win a fight with Johnny. So we're going to lock that in for him. That's going to be a, a power want for him with 5,000 aspiration. So I'm not sure how we're going to accomplish that yet. Wow, Rip is going around being real mean to his brother and dad. But I guess I can't really blame him for that. So General Buzz has the day off today. And look... Tank made Rip cry. That's so sad. So I think what we'll do about the uh, winning the fight with Johnny is we'll just wait until the first natural opportunity that Tank uh, sees Johnny either walking by or at a community lot. And then we'll have him actually have a fight with him because that's what he wants to do. Looks like these two are about to get in a fight. So I'm going to put a stop to that. Uh, General Buzz is over here actually talking to Buck. That's kind of cool. But what we're going to do with today since Buzz has the day off He's going to go out here and train the boys. So he's going to offer lessons to, we're going to start with Tank, of course, his favorite son. And while we're waiting on him to come out here and train Tank, we need to talk about a college degree for him. Because he has made it to level 10 of the military career, that wouldn't be possible in my gameplay without him having gone to college. So we are going to give him a college degree. I know that somebody commented on the previous Smith video asking why I didn't mention the college for Jenny Smith, and that's because Jenny Smith did not go to college. So I guess I should have mentioned that. She didn't go to college, and that's why I didn't give her a degree. She's only in level three of the medical career. So we'll go ahead and buy the bat box here. Oh, I forgot it's a base now. I'm looking for the bat box, but it's a base now. So I'm going to buy that and just put it in the house somewhere. And we're going to upgrade General Buzz and we're going to give him a degree in political science. I think that makes the most sense for him being in the military. All right, so now it's time to come out here and train the boys. So we're going to do this again, train Tank. And he wants to talk to Tank and talk to Rip and play with Buck. Oh, that's kind of sweet of him. Kind of unlike him, but... Oh, no. So the boys are in a fight here in the bedroom, and Buzz is just standing there. Like, you need to break this up. Okay, stop it. As I was putting an end to the fight, I just happened to pause and see the look of joy in Tank's face as he totally kicked Rip's butt. Look at that look on his face. He's so pleased with himself. That is so sad. I foresee there being a lot of fights in this household, kind of like there were in the Pleasant household. So let's try this for the third time. Let's try to get Buzz out here to train Tank. He needs to work off some of that aggression. Oh my goodness. Okay, here they go. Oh, he's not very good. 
<laughs> Tank is not very good at the obstacle course at all. I don't think he has any body skill. Oh, he just got one. So once he's done with ta sending Tank through the obstacle course, then we'll try to get him to send Rip through, but I don't know how that's going to go. <laughs> he's so terrible. He's just flailing around. Oh, you can do it. Oh, no, you can't. Well, Buzz has been training Tank for quite a while now, and I'm going to put a stop to it because Tank really has to go to the bathroom and get something to eat. So we're going to stop that, and we're going to have him instead try to train Rip. Now, Rip does want to gain a skill point, so this would be a good way for him to get a body skill point and maybe spend a little bit time of time with his father, who he doesn't like at all. But he's going to come in and ask him and see if he will. Aw, oh, Rip and Buck are playing uh, rock, paper, scissors there. Why is he walking all the way around? Okay, we're definitely going to have to take some more of these doors out of this house. Drives me insane. Come on, son. Come outside and run this obstacle course with me. And he's like, heck no. I want nothing to do with that. So Rip said no. He will not be participating in Buzz's obstacle course. So we'll let Buzz go to the bathroom and then we'll see if we can train Buck. I so looking at Rip, he does need a creativity skill point in order to get a promotion in his job and he wants to gain a skill point. So maybe we could have him go and write in his diary to gain some creativity skill and maybe that'll keep him busy and away from Tank. I'm going to have Tank go upstairs and use the upstairs bathroom and then get something to eat and try to keep him busy for a little while as well. Okay, Buzz is coming in to ask Buck if he will go and run the obstacle course. And Buck says, heck yeah, I will. Because he wants a chance to be noticed by his father. Who hasn't paid very much attention to him up to this point in his life. And maybe they can become friends over this. Maybe they can bond over this. Buck definitely needs the exercise because he's a little chubby. And it looks like Tank and Rip will both be leaving for their jobs here in just about an hour. Buck is not very good yet. He doesn't have uh, any body skill. He's actually not doing half bad. Oh. <laughs> He's getting better. I can see it. Oh, he just got thin. He lost the weight. Oh my god. I wish it was that easy to lose weight in real life. You just run through the obstacle course like three times and you're thin. What do you know? Okay, well, I guess Buzz is proud of him. He's not going to make him run anymore. He did just try to swing him around, and Buck said no. <laughs> and now he's just going to chat with him. And he has the want to play with him, which he tried to do, but it didn't work. Um, maybe let's play catch, then. Play catch and see if that works. He doesn't like to play catch, obviously. He just got pretty upset when I told him to do that. But they're going to play catch together. That's nice. And we just found out that Buzz's hobby is sports. And I don't remember... If he had an interest... In sports, oh, he does. He has a, quite a, a lot of interest in sports. Maxed out. Tank and Rip are now off to work. Um, Tank is already gone, and Rip is was almost late because he was still in there writing his diary. He did manage to get the creativity skill point he needed. There's a little towny girl walking by, and somebody has knocked over the trash can, and we missed that. Um, I'm sure it was one of the Smiths. So let's have Buzz go and clean that up. And we're just going to wait on the boys to get back from work. And Buzz is going to spend some time with his neglected son, Buck. All right, it's now 6 p.m. on Sunday evening. Buzz grilled hot dogs for the boys, um, and he and Buck have eaten. And it looks like Tank is just now getting home from work. He's not hungry, and Rip is also getting home from work, and he wants to bring Kendall Lawson home from work. No, that's not okay. We're not going to start playing um, 
with the townies right now. <laughs> we're just trying to do the scripted events. That is all we're going to do in this episode. And we'll send the boys in to eat, but it looks like neither of them are very hungry. So we'll just have Buzz put the hot dogs away. He tried. He tried to provide for his sons. And they're just going to all come in and kind of get ready for the night. Um, he wants to invite someone over. <laughs> I guess we can invite Johnny over, but I don't think he would come. Uh, anyway, Tank is going to take a shower. Rip is turning on the stereo, but we're going to turn that back off because that's annoying. He wants to ask us him on a date. I'm going to lock that in so that when we get to round one, we can start working on finding him somebody to date. But we need to assign bedrooms right now because Buck was sleeping on the couch. So I'm going to give him this room with the toy box, of course. It looks like this room here is kind of meant for Rip with the uh, teenage poster on the wall. So we'll give this to him. And then Tank, of course, um, he can have this other room here. And it's only 647 and I'm sending them to bed. Okay, I'm not going to send them to bed right now. I'll send Buck to bed because he's really tired and he's younger. But uh, Rip and Tank can stay up a little bit longer. And then this room down here will be the general's room. Now, I will, when we get around to playing them in, in round one, I will, of course, redecorate their rooms to suit their personalities. Right now, everything is just kind of plain and doesn't match very well at all, which drives me crazy. But this is the furniture that they had to start, but we will uh, be giving their rooms a little bit more personality once we get back, once we get to round one. Also in round one, we will be checking and adjusting everybody's lifetime wish. I'm not doing that in the intro rounds, um, just because I kind of want to wait until we see a little bit more of what our Sims are going to want to do. I don't know. I'm just waiting. <laughs> That's all. No real reason for it. It is six o'clock in the morning here on Monday morning in the Grunt household and Rip just woke up and rolled the want to have his very first kiss. I'm going to lock that one in instead because that's going to be a power want for him instead of the ask Sim on date so that when we get to them in the first round, um, we can try and give him his very first kiss. And then I'm just going to check on everybody else. So Buck wants to get an A plus report card. I'll lock that in for him. Oh, he just farted. That was cute, Buck. <laughs> I'm going to send him over here to start getting ready for school. We're going to check on Tank. Tank still wants to fight Johnny. He also wants to gain a skill point and buy some electronic gadgets. Um, and let's check on Buzz, who is going upstairs for something. And also, Buzz rolled the want to get a puppy, which I locked in because I love the idea of this family getting a dog. Now, I know Buzz doesn't seem like the kind of person who would allow his children to have a dog, but for some reason, he wants to get them one, maybe to teach them responsibility. That's the only thing I can think it could be. So I'm going to lock that in, and maybe we can do that for them in the first round. Right now, everybody's getting ready to go off to work, and Buzz is going to be going... I mean, everybody's getting ready to go to school, and Buzz is going to be going off to work, and then we will catch up with everybody this afternoon. According to the Prima Game Guide, both Buzz and Tank should have had the want for Tank to get an A-plus report card, but for some reason, neither of them rolled that want, so I don't know why. I don't know if the Prima Game guide is wrong or if the game just didn't work how it's supposed to um but they didn't get that one but we're going to go ahead and play through to the end of the school day anyway and then i just got a pop-up that said hmm rip word around the streets is that you're not doing too great in the community there have been some unpleasant rumors spreading about you you should keep a lookout for yourself oh my gosh rip has a bad reputation and it's probably because he just went and attacked his brother again but it's not his fault Okay, well, I guess it is his fault. He did start the fight. <laughs> I was trying to take up for him, but he is totally attacking Tank here. And but Buzz is just watching like, oh, but look, Tank won that one. So Rip really needs to stop starting fights with him because he's getting his butt kicked. <laughs> 
Okay, the helicopter has come to pick up Buzz Grunt for work. I love this. Whenever you get to level 10 of the military career, you get taken to work in a private helicopter. Isn't that cool? I love that. Hardly any of my Sims ever get to level 10, so this is pretty cool for me to see. Buzz is off to work, and he will be home around 4 p.m. after all the boys get home. Ooh, and we got a pop-up. Uh, while the boys were at school today, word spreads fast in this family. Tank's relatives heard about his report card, and they're pleased as punch. They gave Tank a $100 reward for making them the proudest doting family this side of SimCity. So, Tank got 100 simoleons. We're going to add that to his bank account, which we'll have to open up bank accounts for the boys. He is doing extremely well in school, and Rip's grades are going up as well. And I will be allowing them to keep the money that they earn at their part-time job, so I'm keeping track of that. So far, Rip has earned about 70 simoleons. Tank has earned about 50, plus his 100 that he just got for his report card. Somebody needs to come out here and clean this up, and they have roaches now. Oh, God. Um, you do that, and you call an exterminator. And while we watch the boys here take care of their trash and roach problem, I just want to give a shout out to my newest patron, Emily. Emily, thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. And, you know, you really help me continue making this content. So thank you so much. I'm so happy to have you as part of the Pleasant Sims community. So thank you again, Emily. You are awesome. And if any of my subscribers out there uh, would like to support the channel, consider becoming a patron as well for as little as $3 a month you get access to my private discord server patron only live streams and bonus videos from the pre-made neighborhoods so you can visit me at patreon.com slash pleasant sims for more information on that and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming episodes you can also visit my blog at pleasantsims.com if you're interested in any of the mods i use or my gameplay rules and don't forget to follow me on social media. I am on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, and I am on Pinterest. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you with a new episode very soon.